you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not not the problem for me. Hello? Hello? Yes. So, why do you keep talking about Islam? I like it. What's wrong? What's the problem? You, some, some people, they like to talk about uh, belly dancing. Some people like to talk about uh, painting. I like to talk about answers now. What's the problem? Well, it seems like you have this unhealthy obsession. Okay, well, uh, explain to me what unhealthy obsession means. It's very disturbing. Okay, is that as are you it's saying sick. that you Muslims you are suffering from that because every Muslim every day pray five times a day saying, "Oh Allah, please don't make us the same as the Christian and don't make us the same as the cursed Jews." Who is the one who have earthy oppression now? Don't you pray five times no. a day? Don't you pray five times a day? Repeating the chapter of Al Fatiha saying, "Allah, please, 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 don't make me like the Christians and don't make me like the cursed Jews." What's wrong with you? The first thing you do in the morning before you touch your ass, you pray to Allah not to make you like us. My, my friend, do you have, you have, no, 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 no. I'm asking you, do you that or, or I'm lying? Do you recite Al Fatiha five times a day or I'm lying? You're telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Thank you very much. So, why you do that? Do you have a health uh, a problem? Why you Muslims but, do that? Why you why but, you ask Allah not to curse you like the Jews and not to make you lose lost like the, the Christian? Why you don't pray your day, start your day with something beautiful? Okay, pray to your God. And forget about the Christian, about the Jews. Why you cannot start your day without cursing the Christian and cursing the Jews? Are you finished? Yeah, I guess. Go ahead. Okay, I, I apologize for talking while you were interrupting me. Now, oh, you are very polite, man. That's wonderful. Okay, go ahead. And I apologize again for talking while you're interrupting me. Mm. Now, we are talking about you, okay? Why don't talk about you? What's wrong with talking about you too? You talk about me. I'm asking yeah. you the same logic. I'm using your logic. Your logic is the one who talk about something. He have a healthy issue. You pray five times a day, asking Allah not to curse you and not to make you like the Christian. Why you do that? Are you mental? So for the for the third time, I'll apologize for talking while you. No talk problem. To you me. can apologize one one thousand times. Still, you won't answer me. You are trying to be smart. You are not smart. Here we go. I'm getting you busted. If you are saying to me that the one who speak about the topic non-stop. It's mean he have mental issues. Why the first thing you do in the morning is cursing us? Me. I apologize for interrupting me, etc. You want to repeat that? I can put a recorder for you. Now answer me. Go ahead. The problem with you is you're full of hate, too much hate. Mm. What, what about? Okay, let us talk about hate. I will. I will go with you. Chapter five, verse number fourteen. It says that Allah He spread hate between the Christian, which means. If I have hate as a Christian, you have to blame your God Allah because he is the vendor of hate. The supply of hate come to the Christian from Allah. Do you know that? Nothing wrong with that. Well, a second ago, you say the problem I have hate and now the problem is not hate no more. Why you said to me a second ago that if I have hate, you are saying the problem you have a lot of hate. But now I mentioned to you chapter 5 verse 14 says that Allah is the one who supplied the Christians with hate. Suddenly hate is good. Which Christians? I, uh, the Christians us I'm the Christian here we go the Quran says that chapter 5 verse number 14 it says let me read for you you know from those who Allah to call themselves a Christian we took a covenant and but they forgot a good part of the message that we sent to them so we string them with enmity and hatred between one to another to the judgment day so as long you are against hate are you willing to condemn the teaching of your God and he is the one who supply us with hate which Christians I mean the Christians which Christians the Hindu obviously it could be any kind of Christian. It doesn't matter what kind of God he supplied them matter. with. The, what kind of God? As long as you are against hate, be honest with yourself. As long as you are against hate, what kind of God he supply people with hate? Where, according to this verse, where people get hate, they go and call Allah. The warehouse, the warehouse of hate is Allah, as you see. I think he's talking about a specific. Kind of specific, question. okay, specific, no problem. Why you want to spread hate? And at the same time, it doesn't say specific. You know what? Get me busted. Show me it says a specific. No, well, I can't show it now. But Why you cannot show I'm, me? Why you cannot show me? What's I'm, wrong? Because I wanted to talk about you. Your mama is not there? Ask mama, ask daddy. They can help you. So what, 
why would you talk about my mother like that? I'm not talking. About, did I say anything? I, I said, ask them because obviously you acted like a baby. Ask mama, ask daddy. I said, mama and daddy, ask mama, ask daddy. They can help you. What does verse mean? The verse means that the Christians, Allah spread hate between them until judgment day. You said to me, this is about specific kind of Christian. But as you see, it says until judgment day. Have you ever heard of a specific kind of people? They live until judgment day. Do you want to call a friend? Listen. listen, I'm listening. Go ahead. By the way, I know that you are dangerous. Oh. I don't know. Like you are very deep. You're very scared of me. That's why I'm terrified. Yes, I will end your career tonight. Uh huh. And now, how you respond to what I said to you? I'm waiting. Well, I think it's a specific kind of Christian. Doesn't matter. Let us say a specific kind of a Christians. Let us say Christians who have two noses. What kind of God he supplied them with hate? Why he want to spread hate? Is your God Allah is a devil or he is God? Because some people will never change. So you 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 never change. So you supply them with hate, and then they will they will do what? They will go and do killing. If you supply somebody with hate, is that will make him better person or will make him more evil? And then he will hurt other people. So what is the benefit of Allah? What Allah is generating as a benefit from spreading hate? The benefit is to test the believers. What testing? Well, those are not believers, Abdul. He causes them with hate. What's wrong with you? Test the believers. No, no, no. By the way, how know. Allah? How Allah? Like, okay, as long as you are talking about test the believer. Have you ever heard of Khadija testing Allah by her legs? So now you're changing topics. Again. No, I'm not changing topic. You are the one who mentioned the testing that believers. According to you your, ac to according to Khadija, Abdul, listen. According to Khadija, she examined the inspiration of Allah, and she did the striptease to her prophet, to her husband. And after the striptease, she asked him, uh, uh, like yeah. an, an angel, he came. You, you know the story, right? You know the story, my friend? The story how Khadija she did practice, uh, uh, practice strapes. Look, all those scars on YouTube they are talking about that. All right, here you will see I don't know if you speak Arabic or not. The book of Astir al Halabi, let me show you the book. I like the book, I like the cover actually. You know, Astir al Ibn Hisham, and this is one of sources of the story. It says here, variant number one, Qala Ibn Isha, Qala Qala Qal, page number two, three, nine, variant number one. عن خديجة رضي الله عنها أن قالت رسول الله يا ابن عم أتستطيع أن تخبرني بصاحبك let us make the stories uh, short محمد he sees someone in the corner every day and Khadija she said to him I didn't see him he said well I see him so Khadija she said to him okay next time you see him please please my cousin tell me you know the Arab they call the husband cousin so he saw him as usual and then she said to him okay come here Muhammad come here Khabibi and sit in the top of my right leg and Muhammad he sat in the top of her right leg and she said to her husband do you see him you see I'm showing you the screen فتحول رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم على فخذها اليمنى فقالت هل تراه قال نعم so he sat in the top of her the right of her leg or thigh and she said to him do you see him he said yes then she said okay stand up and sit in the top of my left leg and do you see him? He said, yes. And then she said, okay, sit up, stand up and sit in the top of me. And she took off her clothes, which means they want to have sex. And then she said, do you see him? Mm. Oh, no, sorry. Now he, now he sat in the top of her, that, but did not go like, you know, like totally out of. So he sat in the top of her, but she's still wearing her clothes. She said, still you see him? He said, yes. And now she said she took off her clothes and she uncovered herself. And the prophet sitting in the top of her and she said to him do you see him he said no she said the glory to Allah this is an angel have you ever heard of a wife testing the angel of God by striptease before where is the English version of that I don't know you find it I show it to you I show you the reference in the screen this is your Islamic website library.islam.net and you can buy a Sira Nabawira Ibn Isham in English and you can find it. This is variant number one, page number two, three, nine. I'll look into it. All right. So anything else, my friend, you want to say, you want to say to me? Yes, I, I hope you can be less hateful, more respectful. Okay. And... You know, my friend, I decided to stop hate. I want to marry four girls, Muslim girls, so to show you how much I love Islam. Is that okay? So you are also a perfect too. I'm what? 
approve it. What does that mean? Explain to me. Does that mean like I have like like to have sex with the children six years old, like your prophet? That's that's a very terrible argument. What do you mean? Your prophet, he have sex with six years old girl. Does that make him pervert? You said to me, if I like to have sex with four women, that make me pervert. Your prophet, he have thirteen wives and limited numbers of slaves, and he have sex with a, with with a, with a girl she is six years old. So what? So suddenly, suddenly, pervert is not in the dictionary in your more. No, I no, just no, said to you, I just said to you, I want to marry four girls, Muslim girls. You said to me, I am pervert, right? Okay, so the one who marry four girls, he's pervert. Your prophet, he have thirteen. One of them is a child. What do you say? Oh, you. What I meant was the way you talk about these things. What What so, do you mean we talk? Okay, let me let us talk about things. How How we should talk about? Like, let me ask. No, let me ask you. If somebody said, if somebody said, if somebody said, go and bite the penis of your father. Do you think he's a pervert? You are jealous of Muhammad. You I'm very so jealous okay. for sure. For I'm absolutely, I'm jealous. Look at this. I mean, the guy he have a lot of women. I mean, that's the, we cannot debate about that. But still, I don't answer me. If Muhammad he said to a man, "Go and bite the penis of your father," does that make him pervert for you or no? Muhammad has billions of followers. You are nothing. You are irrelevant. And mm, you are... Billions, billions of stupid. They are leaving Islam, my friend. Here we go. We are explaining Islam to them, and they are leaving, as you see. You are irrelevant. Do you, you know? Are... Do you know how many people they they how many Muslims they buy my books every day? You will not believe it, man. Because Shabir Ali know. himself, Shabir Ali Zakir Naik are reading my book, brother. So uh, the evidence of that? With the, 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 the evidence? Okay, ask, ask Shabir Ali. Ask Shabir Ali. Ask Shabir Ali. Ask him. I challenge you to ask him. Actually, I I, I show it. I I show his purchase before. Shabir Ali, he did. Ask him. I challenge him to say he did not. Ask him. Ask him. Ask you see, him. I'm speaking in public. I'm speaking in public. All right, guys. I'm speaking in public. Shabir Ali will hear me. Shabir Ali will go and make a video. Says Christian Prince. He said I did buy a book, his book, and this is a lie. Let him do it. You will see. He will never dare to do so. Well, maybe he doesn't take you seriously. Uh, so he he buy my books. Ah, he don't take me seriously, and he buy my books. Mm. Abdul. Now let us. Let, I will give you a chance to prove Islam to be something very good can you show me one thing for you as a muslim i don't want to talk about bad stuff can you show me one one good thing about islam just one anything can you uh, the way it defines righteousness righteousness like what like give to charity respecting parents hmm, charity i like that you see i was talking to you for how long now half hour mm -hmm. i didn't ask you i did not ask you to pay me money do you know that you're a prophet he refused to talk to a blind man because he is poor and he insists that if you want to meet with the prophet you have to pay him first is that true people do that today no 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 people do that today muhammad is dead abdul is dead you cannot pay him i'm saying oh. do you know that your oh. prophet refused to talk to a blind man because he is poor and this is in the yeah. chapter of abasa and muhammad he said that Allah told him that before you meet with the Prophet in the private consultation, you have to pay him money. Yes or no? Or I'm lying. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Well, where is the righteous okay. here? Righteous is a person who do, even the Quran says, follow those who ask you for no wages. Speaking about the disciple of Jesus. How you ask for wages if the Quran is saying, don't follow those who ask you for wages. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following chapter 36 verse number 21 it says this is about the disciple of jesus this is about paul and peter and simon peter and john and this is the translation here we go so how muhammad says that allah says that the disciple of jesus says that allah told them to say that obey those who ask no wages from you as a return of guidance yet Muhammad he said to them in different verse well if you want to meet with the Prophet you have to pay him not only that Muhammad he claimed that he he can pray in your behalf you know you pay him let me show you my friend here you go what was the payment for the payment because he pray in your behalf I mean this is wonderful mm -hmm. right. yeah, it could be for anything. Okay, sure. This is what it says in the verse, brother. This is what it says in the verse. The verse says that what I can do. I mean, come on, listen. Uh, 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 Abdul, 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 listen. The, the verse says that, so we cannot. Are you making fun of Allah, my friend? 
Are no, you no, making... no, you are making... Okay, so making... the verse says that, how, how you know it doesn't say that. Here we go, chapter 9, verse 103. It says, take from their money arms, uh, so you can uh, uh, like sanctify them, purify them, and pray in their behalf. Give me, okay, my brother, give me, brother, five dollars. I will pray in your behalf. What kind of a prophet, if you pay him, he pray in your behalf? What does that mean? He's, he's like, like he is a, he's a contractor for a prayer. Read with me. You keep going. Abdul, you keep going from one Abdul, another. yes, I'm going from one topic to topic. I'm going with you. You are the one who said to me, aren't you the one who said to me, charity in Islam? Aren't you the one who mentioned that? Let, let us see where the charity goes. Of their goods, of their goods, take arms that thou mightst purify, sanctify them, and pray on their behalf. So if you pay Muhammad, Muhammad is like a Pepsi Cola machine. He have a hole. I'm not going to say where. I'm, I'm very polite. You put the coins there, Muhammad. You start saying, Alhamdulillah, Labbil Alameen, Allahman, Allahim. I like to eat in Arabian, fight for Palestine against the Jews in Takbir. Okay, now by doing that, by paying him, he pray in your behalf and he said to fire you. Since when somebody pray in the behalf of somebody because he paid him? Explain to me. Is this another, another verse? Yes, this is another verse. What happened to your voice? You Are you okay? Are you under the table now? Go on, do, go on, do. Let, let, let the man of the house call me, okay? Let your mom call me. I want the man of the house to call. Oh, we have a Muslim is calling us, trying to call us. Hold on. What happened? Hello? Hello, Christian Pras. How are you? Hey, Yusuf, how are you? Are you what, what, why you are you calling me? What are you trying to say? What do you want to say? What you are talking about? We are talking about your prophet. You know, like, I don't know, a lot of things your prophet, he said, doesn't make sense. As an example, he said that women have a sperm coming from their ribs, and this is really scary. What do you I think about that? I challenge you to, to show me this the word sperm in the verse. Oh, why there's no I'm verse. Lying, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Why are lying? Okay, hold why on, hold on. Okay, well, okay, hold on. Let us see why who's lying. Okay, hold on, hold on. We will go. We will go. Hold on, guys. Uh, okay, we will go. Uh, you, why you are lying? We will see. All right. Hmm. Show this, me. The, hold on, hold on. Let us see. Everybody will see in a second who is lying. This is verse number six and verse number seven. Let us see. In a second, people will see if this is a uh, I'm lying or not. Okay, here we go. Uh, Go to verse. Abdul, 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 hold on, hold on, Abdul, please. My friend. Ab uh, no, uh, hold on, please. You know, uh, 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 people, no, no, we, sh we show things, we show things in the screen. We show things in the screen, please. Oh, God. Okay. Khuliqa min ma'in dafiq. Created from yes. gashin fluid. What is the gashin fluid? He's gashin talking about. Gashin fluid, he didn't specific. Okay, what is that? Okay, explain to me. You are the smart. Okay, okay, it's like okay, it's smart to okay. yeah, the baby is created from no prob no problem, Abdul brother, brother. You explain to me what is this gushing fluid which is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women will make the baby. Go ahead. The glacial fluid is the glacial fluid. What, you are, what is that glacial fluid? Is it, is it oil? Is it, is it oil? Is it is it is it oil? Is it cheese? Is it what? What it is? What is that? The Quran doesn't say anything about this fluid. Why you are why are you are lying about the Quran? If okay, Quran okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Let us see if I'm lying or not. Hold on, hold on. Everybody will laugh at you, my friend. Here we go. This, the Quran, the Quran, the Quran says uh, how he created. What what is the gushing fluid? We will see. Hold on, in a second. Here we go. All right. Listen, listen, listen. How Allah describe which verse in the Quran describe how Allah He made the baby? Tell me, do you know? I will go to that verse you choose for me. Which one? This verse that you are talking about, no. He talk about the creation of man and not the creation of the sperm. This is what you are confusing. I'm not talking about the creation of the sperm, my friend. He's talking about the creation of the man, correct? But he's yes. telling us, okay, but he's telling us where the sperm is yes. coming from. Let, let, let's, let's see. What, what if we go to Ibn Kathir? No. Is Ibn Kathir is okay for you? Is Ibn Kathir is a scholar for you okay. or, or he's a potato? Okay. 
Is Ibn Kathir is a scholar you, for you? Is, is no, Ibn Kathir, are we on a change in subject? Is Ibn Kathir is good enough for you to go and ask him or no? Not, not in the scientific verses. Why, I will, I will go why, to why? Asking, but okay, who, why, who is your favorite scholar, my friend? Why you are refusing no, the scholars? Who is your favorite scholar? Who is your favorite scholar? The, all the scholars, the scholars in religion are not scholar of, of scientists. If you don't have any no problem, scientists, okay, not, you that, that's wonderful. Mention. This is a scholar of religion, not a scholar of scientists. Here we go. So look what they say. They are saying they are saying that Allah He speak about the sperm of the women and the sperm of the man. Let let me ask you. This? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you. Did Why you? Did, about the Quran? The Quran never say creation of sperm, the creation of a man, and not a creation of sperm. Okay, how the man is created from what? Yes, Okay. Who is Guys, guys, uh, you, Yusuf, Yusuf, he speak Arabic. Did you hear him speak in Arabic? Correct? Did he speak Arabic? Okay. What What is the interpretation? What is the interpretation for the scholar you like, so we can read for you? I just tell, tell you, the scholar doesn't understand the, the science. If you don't have at, at this time of scholar, so are you saying the scholars at that time they are stupid, and you are the scholar today? Hmm. At this time, the scholars are, are good in the religion, but not in the science. Okay, you so are you are you saying to me that Allah was not good? He is good in religion, but not good in science. Are you saying that? I, I am speaking about scholar, not good. I know, good but, but the one who said that it's Allah. Allah is the use the word taraib, not the scholar. Who is, what is the word taraib mean? What is the word taraib? What is the word taraib mean? What is the word taraib mean? Go ahead. What is the word taraib mean? Charaib is a part of a woman. A part of what? A woman. That's a big fat lie. A taraib means the bones of the chest, the location of the necklace. You are lying, my friend. Why you are lying? Do you want me to get your busted life? We are discussing sperm. We are Do you discussing want... sperm. The, 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 my friend, my friend, I asked you, I asked you, the Quran used the word taraib. What taraib is? You said, you said something different. The taraib is the ribs of the women. Why you are lying? Rips of the women. Okay, so what is that? So what is that? Will when a man and women they have sex is coming from the ribs of the women will make the baby. Go ahead. Allah in, the, in this verse, Allah says that the the man himself is will uh, the man. Uh, hmm. It is the man who is between the the sperm and taraib and not the sperm. The man is between the sperm and taraib. The man. <laughs> my friend, my, but don't don't friend, friend me, don't friend me, brother, brother, brother. brother. It says a gashing fluid. Allah created you from gashing fluid. Did the Quran says yes. Allah created you from gashing fluid? Yes or no? Does the verse it says but Allah yeah, created you? Does the verse says Allah created you from gashing fluid? And this gashing fluid coming from between the backbone and the ribs of the women. So what is the gashing fluid will create the baby? Go ahead. He never say this. He never say that the fluid it is who who come between the uh, the back and the ribs. It is not the, the what? fluid. It so is what the is no? It says he created the from gushing fluid. No. Everybody can see it in the screen. You are lying, my before friend. No, my friend. Before this, he talk about the man. Yes, the so, human being. Yes, the human being is created from yeah. what? From. Ma in dafiq from gashing fluid. What is that gashing fluid which create the man? Go ahead, explain to us. If you know the basics of Arabic, mm -hmm. we have we have Allah firstly speak about the, the man, mm -hmm. then he speak about the water, then he's he's he speak about something coming from between the big and the ribs okay what is that something coming from between the the backbone and the and the ribs go ahead what is that something, something is, this something is referring to man and not referring to the water abdul 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 are you saying to me that abdul, all the muslim scholars let, let everybody is laughing at you because you are saying to me now all muslim scholar all muslim scholars all muslim scholars they are liars are you saying that are you saying all muslim they do not understand arabic better than you and you are the only one who come with this in conclusion. All scholar Muslim 
at this time don't understand this science because this science but this is, is not science. about science now this is about what the quran is saying forget science. about science who's talking about science now hold on hold on hold on what you are saying to me that allah uh, you are explaining to me the science now or the quran now because you are getting busted so you are trying to make it fit with the science this is why so the scholars you, you get yourself busted the, the, okay let me ask you what ask you what about your prophet did your prophet say something poo -poo about this did your prophet say that this is the water is coming from the women and the man and whoever comes first, the baby will be a boy. Did your prophet says that or no? This hadith is weak. I challenge you. This hadith is weak. It is weak hadith. Okay, let us okay, guys. Is... Guys, it's a weak hadith. It's okay. It's a weak hadith. Yes, okay. weak hadith. We yes. will see. Okay, this is Sahih Muslim. This is a weak hadith. Yes. Sahih Muslim weak hadith. Okay, where it says Sahih, where it says weak, is... where it says weak. Show me. I challenge you. Go ahead. Where it says weak. Show me. Show me the hadith. Here we go. This is the hadith. I will show it to you in Arabic and in English. Okay. Ma or Rajul, Ma or Rajul, as long as you are a Moroccan, you don't know Arabic very well. Ma or Rajul Abiyadun, Wama or Mara Asfar, Faedish Tamaa, Faala, Ma or Rajul Muni, Mara, Ada Karabi Idnila. Translate. Translate. Let us laugh. You can call a friend if you want. I will teach you what 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 is the relationship between this? Because here here is explaining the water. Here, this is the gash and fluid, Abdul. This is the gash and fluid. And now don't change the topic. Uh, you you tell me, did your prophet here lie? Did your prophet? Why you why you don't want to read it? Why you don't want to read it? Why you don't want to translate? Are you ashamed if your prophet making poo poo? What kind of a prophet he claim that the man and look guys look here the Muslim they try to to fabricate. They add, look what they add in the translation. Look what they say. Look, 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 and read with me. Look how they lie. They say that the women, the Holy Prophet said, the reproduction of substance of the man is white, and the women, i.e., ovum central portion is yellow. Look at the lie. There is no thing. This is the, the, the Muhammad. He said it is yellow. Muhammad talking about the fluid which is coming from the vagina of the women, and when they have sexual intercourse. The male, the male water overcome, which means Muhammad is saying the one who come first, reveal upon the female substance. This is a lie. It says no. the water of a woman. And then they say, it is a male child. And the creator of Allah, if the women's substance, according to the Muslim translation, look here, the, the, the lies. If the, if the female substance overcome the male, the, the baby will be female child. However, even with this false translation, even this is a proven Muhammad to be a false prophet because the one who decide the gender of the baby is the male, not the female. Secondly, secondly, there's nowhere they are speaking. Muhammad, he spoke about the chromosome. Let us get my Muslims, uh, Abdul Bastard. Hold on. I will show you something more. If we go in the hadith, you see, let me oh, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 let us get you busted, Abdul. Abdul, Abdul, the lies of Muslims trying to cover. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hmm. Listen. Let's finish uh, this hadith. You uh, are lying about this hadith. I'm lying. Why? Yes, I, I, I will show you why you are lying. This hadith doesn't talk about the creation of a man. It's talk about this similarity between the baby and his mother and his man let's talk about the, the the creation of a man okay what about this one let us see read, read the full hadith show okay we will read we will read we will read we will read, we will read, we will read. Let, let, let us connect let us connect everybody will laugh at you in a second the messenger of allah the messenger of allah the, 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 the messenger of allah said the water of the man the, the water of the man is thick and white and the, and the women water is thin and yellow so now conferred by muhammad what he's talking about and he says whichever of them comes first the child will resemble the parents so now what resemble the parents mean we will go to the other hadith the one you said to me i lied about we go to the other hadith let us see so now it's confirmed shut up it's, it's confirmed it's confirmed what women is what what water is that this is the water of the man and the water of the women whoever come first whoever come first this is about the chromosome the muslim they lie in the translation there's no chromosome there's no substance this is whoever comes first now we go to the second hadith now here we go listen abdul you said I did lie about this hadith. Explain to me how I did lie. Go ahead. You are lying because this hadith didn't talk about the creation of a man or this. He talked about the similarity between the child Let and me... his uh, his parents. Okay, so but this is isn't this is how they how is it created? Yes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. This is not about the creation. This is not about the creation. So why you're a prophet saying? Okay, this is this is not about the creation. No problem. 
But this is speaking about gushing fluid, which, which, which hold on, hold on, hold on, potato. Your, did your prophet yeah, say, yeah. did your prophet say, if whoever of them comes first, the baby will resemble the parents? Yes. Okay. That's mean the coming is what decide and what make the baby happen, correct? This is this, this is how he created them. How he created them. How the baby is created from the water of the man it's and the water of the woman. This is what the Quran is speaking about. The water of the man, the water of the women, the water of the man is white and thick. Your prophet is clean. Respect your prophet, man. Shame on you. Respect your prophet. Don't make fun of him. Shame on you too. Why you are making fun of the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, man? Why are you doing that? So you're a prophet saying that the, the man, the mind sperm is white and thick. I don't know if you have a sperm or not, but maybe you, one day you will find out. And the women, the women's sperm is thin and yellow. And whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parent. Now, did your prophet here, Abdul, Abdul, this is about the creation. Yeah, this is about the creation of the baby. This is about the creation of the baby. Muhammad is trying to explain to us how the baby is created. No, he didn't talk about the steps of creation. He talked about how it comes to resemble <sighs> his parents. Don't twist it. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In this verse, in, in this hadith in front of us, you agree that your prophet here is speaking about the resemblance of the parents, correct? Yes. Okay, why you, about the creation? Okay, no problem. Hold on, hold on. I will go with you. Why your prophet lying then? He's saying that the one resembled the, the, the child. He is lying because it says what is that? You didn't nothing in scientists, my friend, and you want you want to interpret the verse. You say prophet lie. It is you who never you're a prophet saying that whoever comes first will decide the gender of the baby is that true whoever comes first would decide the gender of the baby well, a brother breathe please i want you from now on never come first because the babies will look like you and they will be smart like you and that is very dangerous i advise you to make your wife come first at well, least I'm at lying. least they will be smart who would go listen? It says whoever comes first. Do you agree with your prophet or your prophet here is making poo-poo? Do you agree with your the prophet? People, do you agree with your prophet or your prophet here is doing poo-poo? Big poo-poo. The, the scientists agree with the prophet and not with you. He agree with him. The scientists they agree that if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, yes. and that the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. They agree, they agree go, with that. Go no search. Go scientifically. Guys, go and do sirs, brother. Brothers and sisters, go and do sirs. Brother, sister, go and do sirs. Go and do sirs. The scientists agree, brother, that if a man have orgasm... Okay, I want you to do this, Abdul. I want you to do this. I want you to show me one scientist agree with your prophet. Do it now. You'll get exposed by scientists, my friend. <laughs> you make yourself like a professor and doctor in science. You are zero, my friend. You are not in science. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, you know, ask ask people. Look, look at people in the text. They are dying from laughing. I don't know. They are laughing at you or at me. We don't know. Allah, Allah knows best. Okay, listen, listen. Can you find me one one scientist? He agree with you that if the women have orgasm first. Abdul, Abdul. So Abdul, Abdul, listen. Don't change it. Muslims, Muslim women, Muslim women, Muslim women. They have never have orgasm because simply you do circumcision for them. So now, how the Muslim women they will have a baby girl? Then <laughs> explain to me. Listen, you Muslim, you circumcise your wife, which means she will That's never have scary. orgasm. There is no Muslim woman she have orgasm unless she is not circumcised. Okay, now, so now, how Muhammad he proved to us that he's a stupid by doing that? Because if a woman she cannot have That's orgasm, true. I can show you. I can show you the wife of the Prophet herself. She never have orgasm. Do you know that? Is that the truth? Is that a true? true? Is that a true? Is that a true? Is that a true? That you're a prophet, your prophet wife. Is it true that your prophet wife she never have orgasm? Why you change the topic? I'm not. I'm, I'm not. It's the same topic. I'm. I'm and the same. The same topic. Look, this is this is your prophet wife. You know, she never. She never have orgasm, and she is the wife of the prophet. She's asking like, do we, what? What the heck? Do women have orgasm? Like what? Who's seeing that? The wife of the prophet. How do women have orgasm? Muhammad he says to her, sure, sure. Read with me. Um Salim said, Allah Messenger, verily Allah is not shy in telling you the truth. 
is it essential for a woman to take a bath after she had a wet dream Muslim women they are seeing wet dreams always non-stop they are horny we are not okay nectar sexual charge read it you see it he said yes if she noticed that this charge then Ummu Salama laughed <laughs> she laughed the wife of your prophet is, is Ummu Salama the, the wife of the prophet or she's a neighbor brother by the way what that is that the wife of the prophet or the neighbor who is this woman Muhammad he never made his wives have orgasm look what she said Ummu Salama laughed and said <laughs> what <laughs> does the women have a sexual discharge <laughs> Muhammad he said to her yes yes how does her son resemble her the mother then so Muhammad is claiming that the women discharge is the reason for the baby to resemble the mother how do you respond to that why are changing why are jumping from I'm not changing I'm getting you, you more busted I'm getting you busted getting your prophet why? busted who cannot even make his wife have, have, have orgasm who is this woman Ummu Salama you tell me who is who is she why she never ha heard of orgasm before and why Muhammad saying he come, why Muhammad he confirm why Muhammad he confirm that the women have when she have orgasm that will make the baby resemble her which means became a female prove to me that this is wrong scientifically you are just waffling without any evidence and scientists this you are making okay I am going to ask okay i'm just laughing i am i am guys anyone in the text please post a link for how the baby scientifically i want a muslim i want a muslim to post for us in the text how the baby i want you i want you you want you, you to go search no okay now okay if i show you now in the front of everybody okay let us let us make a challenge if i show you how the baby is made according to science and this is against islam are you willing to leave islam Are you, what are you talking about? The, the creation of a man, of the creation of, or a sperm, or what? Exactly. You you are you, you are saying to me how the baby is made, right? How the baby is made, right? But you you, you are you talking about the verse or the hadith? Uh, both. We will show you how the baby gender is decided, and we will show you how the baby is made. What do you think? What do I you want you to show me that what the Quran say is wrong. Show me. Which one we want to show you? You saying, listen, listen, listen. I, I'm not here to Anyone waste. I, I'm not. I'm, yeah. I'm not here to waste my time. But I can show you tons. Are Look, you see, all if I search, I search. If I search, listen. If I search right now in Google, all those websites they say how the baby is made. Which one you want me to do? To choose for you. Look at the screen. Tell me the one you like me to click in it, and I will go there. Which one? Which one? Go to a, scientist, a website of scientists and not just. This is all scientists. Research. All of them, they are scientists. Which one? You choose. You see, I'm giving you, you, you because you refuse to do the search yourself. Which one you want? Choose anyone you want. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Why waiting out for the baby, baby, or a girl? My how many parents we want. Okay, choosing baby gender with you uh, six and uh, choose gender X. Let us make okay. How to have a girl or a boy, girl or a boy choosing baby sex? Was there a child or a girl? Boy, be girl, brain, see myth. Which gender you are? Okay, let's see this one. Boy or girl, bread net miss. Which gender you are carrying? All right, all right, gender myth. Okay, trust us, anyone, mother, yoga. This is talking about yoga. What is that? Uh, uh sign of your skin, body. Gender fact, okay. So maybe you know, master baby gender, but blah 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 blah. It look like this website have nothing. Hold on, let us find it. You see how it is difficult to to find it. No, it's not difficult, you my friend. It's not difficult. Hold on, 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 hold on. Abdul, Abdul, hold on, hold on, hold on. As long as you are saying it's difficult, let me show you. Okay, let, let me go and search. I will find myself. 
and everybody will laugh at you in a second. Everybody knows. Everybody already is laughing, Abdul. This is something very stupid. I mean, only donkeys, they will argue about this issue. Let us see. Let us see this one. Learn how the baby, the baby became a baby girl or baby boy. Okay, let us see. One of the most exciting part, your baby genes determine the sex. Okay, your baby sex determined at conception by his or her genes. Okay, embryos with XY chromosome become boys, and those uh, with X chromosome become girls. And there's 70 different genes, etc. And by the way, I, I, I read an article even uh, not long time ago that even those... Uh, they found that it was really the man who decide. It's not really the chromosome of both. Uh, this is what I saw in the article. They are saying it. They, they they found that it was the man and the man only. But look here. It is the chromosome according to this article. In the beginning, boys and girls are the same, up until about seven weeks to eight weeks pregnancy. Both sex have what is known the gentile uh, uh, ridge. All right advertising the baby would develop a female sex origin if it were not male hormone testosterone at around a week seven the y chromosome single that start transforming production and etc but anyway as you see this this is alone here is enough because muhammad he said whoever comes first that will decide the baby gender correct this is here is enough Muhammad he made it clear that the one who decide the gender of the baby is whoever come first There is not even a woman pregnant yet You come first the baby will be like you Doesn't matter if it's a male or a female and here we go. This is science in the front of us saying totally the opposite Let us call this Abdul. This is enough. Let us call this Abdul and love together again Answer, Abdul. Answer. What happened? Are you going to spend the day ringing you? Okay, there's other Muslim is trying to call, and this Muslim is a smarter. There's a Muslim, he's a smarter. He's tried to call, but we could not reach him. Let us call the other Muslim. Where is this guy? Um, Isa, Isa. Okay, let's see what Isa want to say. Isa is a smarter than this guy. How are you, Isa? <laughs> I'm pretty good. I want to thank you for um, unblocking my number. Mm. So what, what do you think about Isa, the topic we're talking about? Okay, so are you still talking about the topic of the how the baby resembles? Yeah. The, okay. So actually what you did was you you, you kind of caught yourself into a, a trap. Man. Okay, how does that happen? Go ahead. Okay. So try to follow along with me now. Hmm. So you're saying the, the, the Jewish person. Hmm. Um, he came to the, the prophet and he said, <clears throat> I want to ask you about three things that only a prophet knows about. Mm. Okay. Mm. So we're supposed to, and, and keep in mind, which person, his, his information, he's getting it from the teaching of Moses. Mm. And you're supposed to be the Moses as being a prophet, right? Mm. Go ahead. Okay. So. After the prophet answered him those three questions, mm. the Jewish person he confirmed that he was indeed Muhammad was indeed a prophet, and that he answered correctly because he said only a prophet would know these answers. Mm -hmm. So you're not supposed to take science over the teachings of Moses. 
Mm-hmm. So you you have choices, which is so the teaching of Musa. So you are saying the teaching of Musa says if somebody have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. Yeah, because the Jewish person said he confirmed and he said. Okay, well you have to show me then. You have to show me that Musa says that. Go ahead, I'm listening. Okay, the proof is in the fact that the Jewish person confirmed that mm-hmm. he answered correctly. The Jewish ah, person, the confirmed that the Jewish guy he said that. Ah, okay. <laughs> but yeah. my friend, the Jewish guy, uh, first of all, first of all, the Jewish guy is I don't believe even that he's a Jew. Secondly, this is what the Muslim says, and the proof of that, his name is Abdullah. His name, his name is Abdullah. How how somebody is a Jew, his name is Abdullah. That is impossible. Well, you can't the no, problem no. With that is, because the Jews, because the Jews, they don't call themselves the slave of Allah. Obviously, this is the name of somebody we do not know, or maybe it's a Jew, and later the Muslim they change his name. Secondly, let us say I'm a Christian prince, and I say, I say to you that if there is a question, if you answer me, there's no nobody knows what the meaning except a prophet. But then I cannot back up where I got my information from because you say this guy is following Musa's. Where Musa says to this Jew. If you have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If you have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. You have to show me. Otherwise, all of this is a lie, which means now we have two liars. We have maybe this guy is trying to get Muhammad busted if he's a Jew. He asked him a question. If he gave us a false answer, Muhammad is a liar and he will get him busted. If he gave us a, gave us a true answer, that means Muhammad is a true prophet. Now, as you see, regardless who is the one who said what, Muhammad, he gave a false answer. And the important for us, that obviously this Jew is a hypocrite liar and Muhammad is a liar for he gave a false answer and now you are trying to okay. avoid you are trying to avoid the problem the problem is that your prophet he said now Jibreel told me correct uh, let me let me respond to you. Hmm. you said first first of all you said that how do we know that he's really a Jew so the problem with that is you can't pick and choose which parts of the hadith you that you hmm. uh, that you deem as being valid or not okay the hadith said, the Jew and okay. you're gonna accept the fact okay where is that where is the hadith where is the hadith says he's a Jew can you show me the hadith said a Jewish person came to the prophet and asked him he said I'll ask you three mm. questions that only a prophet knows about mm. it says and here he in front of me okay hold on hold on in front of me it doesn't mention in this hadith specifically it doesn't mention anywhere that he's a Jew secondly let us say for the sake of argument he's a Jew how your prophet give a false answer who said it was false because that's, that's, that's because everybody point. knows that this is this is a lie the, the orgasm of the man first or the women first have nothing to do with the gender of the baby or the look of the baby okay let me explain now first of all we're not eight we're supposed to be following the teachings of our prophet we are if not follow, we are not what we are not what i don't hear you we're not atheists okay we're supposed to be following the teachings of our prophet okay so According to the teachings of Moses, as affirmed by this Jewish person, that Muhammad answered correct. That means that Jesus also taught this. The second point is, what did Jesus himself? I mean, Moses. What did Jesus himself? How did he answer this question? That's 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 another question that you have to answer. My friend, you have to show me that this Jew. When you you are saying to me, you are saying to me that the Jew he confirmed what Muhammad he said. Correct? Okay. Obviously, now we right. have we have two liars. Because you are saying to me a Jew, you are not saying to me Musa's. And let me tell you something: if Musa says that, I will say to Musa's, you are a liar too. If even if Musa okay. says that, even if Musa says that, I will say you are a liar. That means you're a disbeliever then, because well, no, Jesus... because because yeah, I will disbelieve because if Musa is saying something stupid, that means he's a liar. So now you are trying to make it look like okay. If Musa says that, then we have to take it as it is, and whatever he says, it doesn't matter. But you cannot prove that, and you, you are not you are not picking up where the Jew he got this from. Where Musa he said, if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have orgasm, have 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 a, have a, have a girl, uh, is a girl like uh, first, the baby will be a girl. Show me, and then I will say to you right now, live on air. I will say then Musa is lying, but you cannot do that. So you are trying to defend the honor of your prophet by his lies. <laughs> I can. It's easy because the Jewish person, he doesn't know science. He's not living here in the. Twins. My friend, my friend, my, my my friend. That will make two liars now. We have the Jewish guy and Muhammad. Obviously, the Jew, the Jew always they trap Muhammad. As an example, the Jews they came to Muhammad. They asked him about Alexander the Great, and then he told them a story about him. And the Jews they start laughing at, at him because the story is fiction. is is a lie. So when when somebody, if I ask you now, I always I ask the Muslim questions just for for a laugh. I don't approve Muhammad, 
I say how the baby created and then you say and I say to you nobody knows the answer for them except the prophet look with me here how stupid even this this challenge is because if this Jew and you claim that the Jew he knew the answer right okay if nobody knows the answer for this question except a prophet how does Jews knows unless he's a prophet too because he knows the teachings of Moses That's no but he right. said no no but he said nobody knows except the prophet nobody knows not a single Jew not nobody it says nobody knows what is the answer for those questions unless he is a prophet read with me I will ask you hold on I will ask you I will ask you about the three things which nobody knows unless he to be a prophet unless nobody so how he know how he say nobody knows and this is the challenge to prove that who is a prophet or not which means this is secretly knowledge this is secret knowledge how this man he knew something nobody knows but only prophet he know that means he is a prophet too no, no, no. That means that he learned from the teachings of Moses. Because, but, but if he learned from the teaching of Moses, that means everybody knows, <laughs> and that means there's no, no that, that means there's no need to challenge yeah. anyone because this will be written in the Torah. Okay. Hold on, hold on, my friend, my friend. Everybody is laughing at you now. I'm not. I don't mean to insult. If this is in the teaching of the Jews, and as you said, that means everybody knows what he knows. But he says there, I will ask you three things which nobody knows except a prophet, not the Jews. Not the Christians. Nobody knows. Only, only prophet. They knew this. The answer for those questions. So you are now. You, you are now trying to defend a, a Jew, making fun of your prophet. Obviously, he's making fun of your prophet. It's obviously, if he didn't know, if only a prophet knew the answer, how would he be able to affirm it? Unless he knew what Moses. Unless, he, unless he's a scumbag. This is the, this is the answer. Unless he's a scumbag, he's a liar, he's a hypocrite. Unless this story maybe is, 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 a, is a story of Muhammad fabricated. So <clears throat> if, if I confirm what is wrong, that's mean uh, doesn't mean doesn't make any difference. The, what the Jew confirm here, if the Jew confirm it, that's mean he's a scumbag too, and he's a liar because this is have nothing to do with God and it cannot be about God because God will never teach something stupid like that. So now look what, what you are doing. You are trying to defend your prophet saying something stupid that the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl, the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, by saying, Okay, the one who confirmed that is a Jew. So your witness is a Jew. According to the hadith, you use the hadith as an evidence. My friend, okay, as, 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 isn't it the Quran says that the Jews are corrupt people and they are liars and they are the worst enemy of Islam? Now they are the best friend for you. Let's stick to the topic. We are sticking uh, to the topic. How you accept how you accept a Jew to confirm what Muhammad is saying to be true? And Muhammad is saying that the one who told him is Jibreel. The answer is coming from Jibreel. And if the Jew confirm what the what the prophet say, that means the Jew obviously is making fun of Muhammad, or he is a liar because this is a false answer. So you are trying to avoid to answer why Muhammad is saying something which is not a true, which means he's making up a lie. He claimed that Jibreel talked to him. Jibreel spoke to him gave him the answer and now you are trying to confirm all this lie by saying okay a jew so told him that so if the jew said that he agreed that means muhammad is saying the truth okay why don't you resolve it very simply by telling us what did jesus say about what makes the baby a boy or girl no what, what, what jesus said what well, jesus did not talk about it he didn't talk about it or you don't know what he said no he did not talk show me what did jesus said where, where jesus said go ahead, go ahead. So, so if you don't know what Jesus said about it, then it's possible that Jesus could be agreeing with what Muhammad and this Jewish person said. That no, but, uh, Jesus also. always speak wisdom. You know, there is nowhere he says something stupid. Show me that he says something stupid like your prophet. And look what look, look what you are doing. Look what you are doing. You are you are you are you are running forward. Let us say there is all the ones people they believe in them. They say and they agree with Muhammad, but this is not true. That will make them all liars. Doesn't matter no, who they are. Doesn't matter who they are. Doesn't matter who they are. Let us say, let us say, there's one thousand million a prophet in the world. The people they call them a prophet, and they agree with your prophet. And this is not a true. It's mean all of them they are lying. Doesn't matter. So now what we what we have is a proof that Muhammad is a liar. Because what is important is that this is a proving to be false, big fat lie. And you're a prophet claim okay. that the one who told him that is Jibril. Do you see what he says? Jibril inform me right now. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. No problem, All right, let, 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 let me ask you. Let me ask you. So, do you agree? Do you agree, Asa? Do you agree that if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy? Do you agree with that? Okay, first of all, that's not what the hadith says. No, this is what the hadith all, says. No, this is what the hadith says. This is what the hadith says. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here we go. I will show you. This is what the hadith says. Here we go. It says, I will read it for you in Arabic and I will show it to you in English. Here we go. 
ماء الرجل أبيض وماء المرأة أصفر فإذا اجتمعا فعلى مني الرجل مني المرأة أذكر بإذن الله أذكر أذكر بإذن الله became a male by the will of Allah وإذا على مني المرأة مني الرجل أنثى بإذن الله so if the woman uh, uh, sperm came first before the man the, the baby will be أنثى which means female as you see this is the word let me, let me highlight for you the word أذكر and I change any Muslim to say to me to call if you speak Arabic to say I'm lying, this is adkara and this is untha. So you're a prophet claim that what make the baby a boy is who having orgasm first. If the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. If we go to the other hadith, it says the following. Let us go there. Muhammad here, he make it more simple. The Messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white. So he's describing what? Describing specifically the, 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 the gushing fluid from the private part of the man. And the women water is thin and yellow. He's talking about what? You know, if you go to the other hadith where Muhammad, he described to the women who have an orgasm that she have to, to, to wash, he described it exactly as we see here. He said it is yellow and thin and she have to wash if she have orgasm. Let us go to the hadith. Here we go. Here we go. If we go this hadith, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, so you cannot say it's a lie. The, uh, a woman, she came to Muhammad and she said, Allah is not shy to tell you that the truth is entirely for women to, to took a bath after she had a wet dream, which means sexual discharge. He said, yes, if she noticed this charge, she noticed, which means this is something is coming out. On that, Umm Salama says, she said, she laughed. Does the women have orgasm, discharge? He said, yes. How then does he, her son, resemble her? You know, this is, by the way, false translation. The word is al-walad, which means the, the baby, the, the, the born baby. So how her baby resemble her? So your prophet here, make it clear that he is talking about the sexual fluid coming from the women, which is a yellow and thin, and this is something is discharged coming out in the vagina. So obviously, Muhammad, he made a big mistake. And Muhammad here, by claiming that the one who told him that is Jibreel, he proved to us that he is a false prophet. Go ahead, Mr. Isa, I'm listening. Okay. So first of all, the Hadith says, that you confirmed that Muhammad was speaking the truth. Okay. So we, as being people who follow scripture, we're not supposed to take science over the scripture. Hmm. So you can, like I said before, the, the hadith does not mention the word orgasm, but the hadith says that if the, the, the water of the male, of the man, precedes the water of the female, it does not mention anything about orgasm. So what is so the water of the man? What, what is the water of the man? Hold on, Isa. What is the water of the man, which is white and thick, proceed the water of the man? What is that? Is that orgasm or not? It says the water is white, right? It yeah, says the water is white. So is any this orgasm? Is any this is orgasm? Is any this is the cum of the man? Uh, there's a big difference between the, the semen of the man and the, the fluid of the woman and an uh, orgasm. There's a big difference there. That's the whole point. And the point you're not seeing it. Okay, so are you saying that, that a man, are you saying a man, he can have or, he can have orgasm without having a sperm? That's not what I said. Okay, but the, the, your fluid, prophet, your prophet said. Lisa, Lisa, listen. listen. The fluid remains, the fluid the body of the, of the woman, even hours and days after sex it does not have to mean an orgasm that's the whole point you're missing from here it says if the water of the male precedes the water of the female that could be at any time not at the point of the sexual okay read, read the me. second thing is okay read me no 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 well, hold on hold, hold on hold on read me it says your prophet saying the water of the man the, the man is white and the water of the woman is thin and who is whoever of them comes first does it say comes first comes first the child resembles the parents so you are saying the opposite you are now you are making fun of your prophet because your prophet saying whoever comes first it is about orgasm What happened?
What happened? So, okay. Are you there? Okay, you can call a friend. Let me know. I, I will, I'm not going to. It's very embarrassing what you said because obviously you destroyed your profit without knowing. You were explaining that this is have nothing to do with the coming first and etc. And this is the truth, supposedly. So your profit was lying. And thank you very much for saying that. You're still alive? You can call Zach and I. Okay, well, Santa Claus is coming to town. Thank you very much, Asa, for calling. And look like you are out of words. I'm not going to wait for you for long. I hear you're breathing and you have nothing to say. He was making fun of his prophet, saying, this doesn't say that uh, the one who comes first. It doesn't say that the one who have, this is not about orgasm. No. Right? Yes, Asa. What happened, Asa? Go ahead. What do you think? You said this is not orgasm. This is orgasm, as you see in the screen. Go ahead. Okay, so like I said, the hadith doesn't mention anything. No, it, no it says orgasm. orgasm. It says orgasm. It says comes first. What comes first mean? Yeah, that's not the word for orgasm, though. That means oh, that so what, what comes first mean? It means once it means once the this the the male reproductive fluid is in the female. It could be at any point, not at the not at the exact time of of the sexual encounter. So the, when somebody says comes first, that means this is not orgasm orgasm in your in your dictionary. I'm saying the hadith doesn't say orgasm. It says no, it says whoever of them comes first. And comes first is very simple to know. Comes first. It is orgasm. Okay, and that's how you interpret it. But I am not interpreting. No, this is what it says. This is what it says. It, this is what it says. Let, let me let me read. Okay, let me read, let me read listen. for you. Let me read for you. You see, in Arabic, it says, "Fa'iyahuma sabaka kana shaba sabaka sabaka." The one who comes first, and this is your Muslim translation, and this is Sahih Hadith. So don't tell me it does not say that. Whoever of them comes first. Now you tell me what comes first mean according to you. I'm listening. Okay, if the prophet wanted to say orgasm, you could have easily said orgasm. This is what he no. said. He said that. He said that in Arabic. He said, Sabaka, Sabaka, Sabaka. The ma or Rajul Sabaka. The, the, the okay. water of the man if, came, came, he came. This is what he said. Okay, if this is what the hadith says, this is what Muslims believe because we don't take science over the hadith. All right, no so my question to my, my question to you is you could easily resolve this right now by telling us what Jesus said about how the baby either resembles the, the mother or the father or how the sex of the baby is determined. Well, now, if you don't have knowledge about that, hmm. then you can't speak on this topic because we people... Who, no, we can, we, we can, we can, we can. You know, my friend, this is, this is, a, saying, this is a false logic. Oh, thank, you, thank you, thank okay. you. I, 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 I will answer offline, offline. hold on. Mm -hmm. Guys, if Jesus did not talk about that, that will not change anything. That your prophet is telling a lie. Jesus did not come to teach us how he made babies. Jesus, he created people, as the Quran says, from the mud. He made a bird, you know, but he did not tell us how he did that, right? It's your God and your prophet who's trying to be smart people, supposedly, or smart, intelligent alien, trying to give us details. The Quran, when the Quran says that Jesus, he made the blind see, and even the Bible says that, the, the Bible did not say really what happened exactly, but obviously he's creating eyes for him. But how he created the eyes, this is the power of God. But when Muhammad, he go in details and he tried to be a smart doctor who graduated from uh, a big school, explaining to us how his God made the baby. And then we find that this is stupid to say. And he's speaking about like, you know, uh, uh, it's not about the miracle thing. It's like about me and you, like me as a male, you as a female. We have a sexual relationship together and then we have a baby. It's not about God creating because God, he have a power he can do. God, he don't even need to pass all those uh, stages, let us say. God, he can say be and you will be, that's it. But by the way, the Quran says, if Allah wanted something to happen, he say be and it is going to be, but he never created anything by be. Never. He said the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. He said to him be and he was. 
But the fact we go and read the Quran, we will find that Adam was not created by B. It took him long time to create him. And same as Jesus, Allah, he sent his spirit and he breathed into Mary vagina. And then he made her pregnant and then she delivery. And then she sat under the palm tree and then the baby came. It was not B and he was. So when Muhammad and his God, they describe for us, actually, if we even this is in the Quran. You see, in the Quran, the Quran even do more, more harm to Islam. Hello? Yeah, hi, Christian Prince. Hey, my friend, how are you? I'm fine. It's Mr. A. Okay. Yes, my friend. I wanted to share something here. Uh, I heard a lot of nonsense and uh, about this uh, sperm and orgasm. Okay. Um, I will tell you something. A man's sperm contains 22 chromosomes as well as either one X or Y chromosome. All right. And a woman's contains 22 chromosomes hmm. plus plus an X chromosome so it has nothing to do with who orgasms first <clears throat> it's all in the men's uh, sperm which either the X chromosome will reach the egg or the Y chromosome will reach the egg yeah so it absolutely does not have anything to do with who has the orgasm first? Yeah, but the idea first. of this Muslim that as long uh, a Jew, he told Muhammad, nobody knows this uh, except the Prophet, and obviously the Jews look like he's a god for them. Suddenly he became a god, and as long the Jew he confirmed that Muhammad is saying the truth, that means this must be right, and you can take the take uh, take the science against uh, the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous, man. Yeah. How can you even believe such a thing? It's uh, amazing. How the brain works on uh, specific people. Yeah. You know, brain can work in mysterious ways. Yeah, and but, but obviously the Muslim brain is not working at all. <laughs> Something like that. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. Take care. Thank you. Bye. All right. Here, we, here we have the Quran in front of us, uh, chapter twenty-three, speaking about verse number fourteen. Then we made the sperm into a clot, and this is again another another poo poo. Because the sperm is not going to be transformed into a dead blood. Is that correct? Yes, Isa. Okay. Um, I just heard what the caller said, and like I was trying to explain to you, hmm. uh, we don't follow science if it goes against something that is confirmed in the teachings of a prophet. That's a very, very easy principle to yeah, but understand. This is, but you see, this is this is can be accepted if we are talking about a miraculous thing, like a miracle God he did. As an example, uh, God here resurrected somebody from death, but this is cannot be explained. No problem, we can accept that. But when we talk about a man and women having orgasm, and then how the baby became this is not about God involvement because God he made Adam and Eve and he gave them the ability to, to reproduce correct yes okay so now what what Muhammad is talking about here is the reproduction process is not about a miracle it's just a reproduction which is our supposedly God creation anyway so God created how man is he created Adam he created Eve and then he gave them the ability if they have sexual relationship together they can have babies so it's just a normal procedure of reproduction Allah or your God or my God is not really involved in it no more because he created the first man and women and the rest are coming from them but now your God is giving us details about how the reproduction is done not a miracle so look what the Quran says and we made the sperm into a congealed blood do you know what congealed blood is yeah, it's a blood. Okay, what? No, what kind of blood it is? I'm not sure. It's dead blood. It is dead blood. So Muhammad claims. Hey, I'm not sure what, what congealed. No, congealed blood is like you know, if you if you get yourself injured, as an example, there is a there is a clot will will cover the, your skin to protect it from any things to penetrate. It's like something normal. The the the, the blood the blood have a material which if it's exposed to air, 
that blood will go solid will become uh, dead and will die and it will make like will make a cover until your skin is healed and then that blood will 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 drop by itself which is going to be like a like a bandage you know god he gave us a natural bandage over our skin so your prophet claiming here that the sperm made into a congealed blood and this is again a very bad mistake this is god talking you see he's not talking about america now he's talking about a normal procedure how a human being reproduction work okay so what does the gospel say about about this process of uh of how the baby is you know you see you, you see you, you, you see like uh okay hold on if we you know uh, uh, for, for us we can take whatever the bible says and the bible the, the bible in many verses in the bible speak about many things as an example uh how how god created us he created the flesh he created etc uh, and I, I believe that Muhammad he was trying somehow to copy from the Jews something the Jews they knew and Muhammad always when he copy from the Jews he make mistakes so you know he he heard the Jews saying something and he decide that you know uh, uh, you know he decide okay the Jews are people who knows whatever they say it must be true so as long as the Jews they say something, then I will take it as it is. And as you said to me, because like you are convinced too that the Jews they will never lie to your prophet, right? So whatever the Jews they say, Muhammad he will take it as an example. Muhammad he took everything the Jews they speak about as an example. The speaking ant, the ant who talk. This is from the legion of the Jews. Muhammad he heard it, he took it, he put it there. The Jews they 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 have many false stories about like as Suleiman. Suleiman he died and he was in his in his throne. For many days standing and nobody noticed standing up actually uh, the, the the genie uh, who who ha, who stole the ring of Suleiman all those are legions of the Jews so obviously Muhammad have a the, the Jews have a huge impact on him and he took all the lies the Jews they spread around which is a fiction stories and he considered it as a fact to be part of his religion so now Muhammad actually he is a victim of what the Jews told him and because he trusted the Jews, you know, if you go to the to the uh, to the the Talmud as an example, or the Legion of the Jews, you will find a lot of crazy stuff. And Muhammad, obviously, like as an example, if we go right now, I will show you that the the story of Azab al Qabr. You heard of Azab al Qabr before, correct? No. Okay, Azab al Qabr, uh, the, the torture of the grave. You never heard of it? Yeah, the punishment, the punishment of the grave. Yeah, yeah, of course. How Muhammad he heard about Azab al Qabr? Do you know? I understand that prophets and messengers receive revelation from Allah, from okay. God. Okay, hold on. Where, when Muhammad first time he mentioned mentioned that he received revelation from Allah about the punishment of the grave. How that happened? I don't quite understand the question. You know, okay, let, me, let me show you. Let me show you. Here we go. This is Sahih Bukhari in front of your eyes, and this is proven again that Muhammad is a victim of the Jews. The Jews are making fun of him and Muhammad whatever they say to him he take it and he accept it He think the Jews are always telling the truth and whatever the Jews they say they must be truthful And they are people of the book. So they knew what they're talking about Aisha said that the Jews came to her and mentioned the punishment in the grave Saying to her may Allah protect you from the punishment of the grave Aisha then asked Allah messenger about the punishment of the grave. He said yes, there is a punishment in the grave uh, Aisha added after that I never saw Allah messenger, but always seeking refuge Why Allah with Allah from the punishment of the grave? So you're a prophet. He never Never mentioned the punishment of the grave actually in different hadith Aisha. She said to the Jew you are a liar There's no such a thing You are a liar. So uh, Aisha obviously she never heard this before and To the point she is accusing the women who told her that story that she is uh, she's a liar and there's no such a thing and when Muhammad he came and he listened to her suddenly after that moment Muhammad never pray as you see in the hadith never pray without saying I seek refuge by Allah from the point of the grave so why Muhammad never mentioned that before until this Jew came because he never heard of it as simple as that you're making an assumption that he didn't mention that okay no I, no I am not making an assumption is, is it is it Aisha she accused 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 the woman to, to be a liar she said to him you are lying there's no such a thing that's mean Aisha who lived with Muhammad in That's his right. house. She never heard Muhammad saying that. You have to you have to admit you cannot you cannot get away with it. You see, imagine my wife who sat next to me and I am a prophet who pray every day. 
and then she hear me and she watch me every day praying she never heard me saying I seek refuge from the punch of the grave ever until the Jewish women she said that to her and then she witnessed that since then Muhammad never never pray to Allah without saying I seek refuge from the punishment of the grave so since then the prayer became in like it's impossible to see Muhammad praying without mentioning I seek refuge from the point of the grave so why Muhammad why she never heard him saying that prayer before she never saw him saying that before why because simply Muhammad he just learned it after that you see read really carefully and after that I never seen Allah messenger praying but he seek refuge by Allah from the punch of the grave so Aisha she is confirming she is confirming that Muhammad he don't know about this he just learned it and since he learned it never stop using it and speaking about it okay now the first thing is um the hadith where you're saying that Aisha said to the Jew that you're a liar. I don't that's not that's not the hadith that you're showing me right now Okay, so if I show it to you are you saying to me? I'm lying to you or what? Well, you do make a lot a lot of lies up so it could you have, you have to prove it you have to prove it Okay in front of everybody if I show you that the hadith if I look for the hadith saying that Aisha says to the Jew you are a liar what you will do Well like I said, I didn't say that every single word that comes out of your mouth okay, is a so lie. Then, so, I, then don't, so then don't, don't speak of something you do not know. Either you say this is a lie and that will make a big deal for you, okay? Or you say I don't. it, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't change anything. So do you want to make a challenge in front of everybody that Aisha, she accused the Jews to say a lie? Okay. Let me explain something to you because mm. we have principles, okay? Mm. We as Muslims have principles. Mm. Now, the principles are and this is how you really can't um, get away with a lot of trickery mm. with me like you do with other callers, okay? Mm. Anything that you show me that's from Bukhari or Muslim, mm. these two collections of hadith, I'll believe it. Mm. Anything. Okay. And anything from the Quran, anything that's in the Quran, mm. we believe that that is the 100% truth. Mm. Now that doesn't mean that the way you spin it off and make your own explanation of the of the hadith or the Quran mm. is accurate, because sometimes, many times, as a matter of fact, you will take a hadith or a Quranic verse and you will make your own interpretation, mm. where everyone knows that Muslims are, we have the most right, we have the most uh, ability to explain the meaning of any particular hadith or Quran okay, let, me ask you, let me ask you what is the punishment of the grave what is the what is the reason for the punishment of the grave what is the like what is uh, what exactly you did to make you be punished in the grave according to your understanding okay so the punishment of the grave is to cleanse the person of sins that he did not repent for when he was alive it's not very difficult to 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 comprehend this is the point of any punishment are you sure is to, are you sure yes i'm 100 sure okay no so, so it's question, not it's not because somebody he piss yeah this is the sin somebody piss allah will punish him in the grave if he piss if he does not take care to make sure that, he's, that he cleans himself but you see but, he, he but so is, is that is that pissing is a sin if you piss and you and the sin the piss touch your skin is that a sin no, the sin is if you use the bathroom mm. and you're not careful to make sure that your clothes are clean mm. from the urine. This is sin. Yeah. This is sin. This so is why your so how your prophet he order you to drink camel urine? I'm sorry. If 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 the if the urine touch you, that is a sin in Islam. Then how the prophet order you to drink camel urine? Because camel urine, the, any urine from an animal that can be eaten. Is not considered to be impure. Ah, so so the urine of the dog is not is not any pure. Any animal that can be eaten, a dog eaten? cannot be eaten. Ah, ah, okay. So any animal can be eaten. That the urine is not okay. So you can drink urine. Okay, I see. Okay. Now listen. Uh, when you say to me that if you don't clean your urine from you, and that is a sin, and that will punish you, does that mean if I show you that your prophet that urine he used to touch him? That mean he is going to be punished in the grave. 
Let me ask you a question. Before Don't ask me a question. Don't ask me a question. You see, you play games. You keep. I will. I will go with you. Are you saying that your prophet will be punished for his urine touch him? The prophet would never be punished for anything because oh, see, prophet, see? so it's in a second, in a second, you change your mind. Now, where Muhammad he learned that the urine, if the urine touched your skin, is going to punish you, is, is going to cause you to be punished in the grave. Where learn learn that from? Is it from the Jews? Is it, is it the from the Jews? Is it from the Jews? Is it, is it from the Jews? The definition of a prophet or a messenger. No, no, no. I'm asking you where Muhammad he learned this knowledge that the urine is the punish is the reason to be punished in the in the uh, grave. Is that from the Jews? It's from Allah, because like I said before, so it's not from the Jews. It's not from the Jews. No, no, no it's not. From the okay, Jews. let us see this hadith then. Yes, be my witness. He said it's not from the Jews. In a second, this guy he will change his mind. All right. I want to see this. I want to see you change my mind. Go ahead. Let us see. Let us see. Here we go. Aisha, she said, a Jewish woman entered upon me, into me, and said, the torment of the grave is because of the urine. I said, you are lying. What Aisha, she said? You are lying. She said, no, it's true. We cut our skin and our clothing because of it. The messenger of Allah went out and he and to pray, and our voice become loud. He said, what is this? I said, I told him what she had said. He said, she spoke in the truth. After that day, I never offered any, he never offered any prayer, but he say, following the prayer, after he followed the prayer, Rabba Jibreel wa Mikael wa Israfil, etc., etc., I seek refuge from you against the punishment of the grave. So Muhammad here never, never since then, Aisha, she never heard of that before. And you are the one who said to me, where, where you get this one, uh, that the Jews, she said to him, you are lying, right? You remember? You said you fabricate, you lie. Here we go, Aisha, she is accusing the Jew that she is a fabricate, she is, she is a liar, and this is going to be true. Why? Because this is stupid. Why Aisha, she's saying to the Jew, this is, this, is, this is a lie? Because this is stupid, obviously. So the Jew, she said that Muhammad, he take that Muhammad, he believe in that Muhammad approved that, and after that Muhammad, he never pray to Allah unless he say, "I seek refuge by Allah from the portion of the grave." So the question to you, as long as you are the one who said to me, Allah is the one who told him that. So why Muhammad never before that mentioned the portion of the grave in his prayer? He was not aware of it. Okay, so who collected the hadith that you're showing us now? Where do you collected the hadith? You Muslims was the one who collected the hadith. No, what 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 book of hadith was it? Uh, is it from? This is Sunan and Nasai. Okay, so it's most likely it's probably a weak hadith because it is not know, a weak hadith. Here we go. This is not a weak hadith. Here we go. Read with me. It says Hassan. Just because. Uh, okay, let me show you. Okay, hold on. Let us let us see from Al Bukhari. Let us get you. You see, the Muslim they want to play all the games, all the games, all the games. Okay, let us see if this is can be found in Al Bukhari. Okay. All right. This is Al Bukhari. So what we will do now? Muhammad he never mentioned this prayer before. He just copying from the Jew, as simple as that. Never ever spoke of it. You told me so that the one. You told me that the one. I asked you who is the one who told him that. You said Allah. As you see, it was a Jewish woman who came to his house, have an argument with his wife, and Aisha, she could not, she could not believe it. And Muhammad, he confirmed what the Jew, he, she said. So how does that mean that the Jewish person taught him that, if he confirmed Because he never prayed that before. If the Jewish woman, if the Jewish woman is not the first one to mention that, why Muhammad, as you see how important it is to say this prayer. After that, he, she never saw him. Read with me. After that, I never saw Allah Messenger but seeking refuge with Allah from the punishment of the grave after that. So Muhammad, if this is very important that you should add in every prayer after the prayer to seek refuge from the punishment of the grave, why Muhammad never mentioned it before? Why suddenly now after the Jew, she came to him, suddenly he repeated every time he pray. Obviously he just learned it, he liked the idea. Muhammad is a copy paste guy. The Jews, they say something, whatever the Jews they say, and the Jews, they are making fun of him, obviously. That's how you interpret it. My friend, my friend, thank said. you for calling. That's it. We are done. I'm not going to waste my time. It's obvious.
Correct, guys? If, if we ask this guy, who is the one who told Muhammad this? He said, Allah. Okay, why Allah never, why he never mentioned it before? Uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and learn how to be tough on this cult. And tough mean to be bold, to say it as it is, not as they want. Not politically correct. Being politically, politically correct is an illness, is a weakness. If somebody is hiding something, they've been forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims. It doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are being rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it true for sure.